Ingenio is a plastic fabrication and recycling system for the developing world. The idea is to create a kind of a communal incentive to recycle plastic because uh, they, they were now be getting, instead of the 20 pence per kilo that would, they would usually get for just bottles, they could get up to $1.80 or $1.90 per kilo for the pelletized material. So the machine is fed bottles from pickers, cut them into pieces like this, and then grind it up here. There you can see, shredded plastic. Then get, gets transferred over here. So right now I'm turning on the heating element to heat up the extruder. And here is the extruder, which is heated using the two toaster elements. And by pedaling, the machine augers out the plastic. The plans are online. The idea is that people can find the plans, pick up recovered bikes, and build it using local craftsmen that are already welders and metalsmiths. Within the community, they already have friends that are artisans that they can employ or work together to create new things with the fibers that come out of the machine. The British carpet industry manufactures about 150 million square metres of carpet a year. About 7% of that is waste, waste carpet that's chopped off the top and off the sides. This material is then carded into this fabric that you see here. And what I've done is I've taken this and mixed a bioresin, which is um, grown from rapeseed, to make this rigid material here called biowool. And I've applied this to the Terra case, which is the world first for environmentally friendly hard shell luggage. I estimate that this would take anywhere from two years to three years to biodegrade. There's no uh, toxic chemicals, formaldehyde or isocyanate in this suitcase, so it poses no real environmental threat when it's decaying. I've even had people in the show suggest some quite kind of weird applications, um, one of which is a biodegradable coffin. is called Inai, a collaboration between the Japanese fashion designer AC Miyake and Italian lighting manufacturer Artemidi. At first glance the product gives the impression to be um, a type of parchment paper, especially since you, you first look at the product and you think origami, but in factual fact the fibres are produced entirely from a recycled bottles. And what we do to give them some kind of stability and solidity is to apply a treatment to the internal surface of the, of the shade which um, allows the uh, fibres to hold its shape when it's fully extracted into that sort of form. We reduce um, CO2 emissions by 40% um, just uh, when, com when compared to actually producing the fabric from a new source. And we can actually send lots of these fittings in relatively small packages through distribution channels. So the CO2 emissions in transportation are dramatically reduced when you result in something that's really quite sizable.